My People is pleased to present 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, as it continues to lead the way in advocacy for the creation and dissemination of technology that enables financial inclusivity. The 40 Days 40 Fintechs is shining a spotlight on those that are breaking down digital barriers and bringing millions more on the continent into the transactional space and transforming their lives for the better. Rinmat is an e-market or online marketplace for both B2B and B2C. We basically host businesses, various businesses on our market, and uh, that means that uh, we provide an opportunity for all businesses to own an online outlet. Uh, all this is free. You don't need to pay anything. Uh, when you're signing up, it is free. There's no commission on sales. So owning an online outlet means that you can now uh, access customers beyond your normal reach. It is an opportunity for all businesses to sell to customers that don't usually either bypass their, uh, their outlets or those that always visit the outlets. So Linmart is borderless. We, are, we approach uh, both the Ugandan market and across borders. Uh, what Linmart is doing right now is creating market. It is a gap and it has been the main problem, I will say, for all businesses. And here I mean both uh, the consumers, uh, the vendors, and the suppliers. Someone has products, let me say in Kumi, he's selling Ginats, but he doesn't know where to sell it. And there's a person in Owino who vends Ginats, but he has a problem accessing a supply of Ginats in Kumi. So we have all these on Linmart. So how about the person who's trying to buy? Linmart is trying to create a conveniency for shoppers, meaning that now, a shopper can visit Linmart at the comfort of wherever he is and access a product or service that he wants. So Linmart provides outlets not only to, say, shops, but you can have a showroom on Linmart, you can have an office on Linmart. So basically, like someone would say, a market. We are a marketplace. And in a market, you have all businesses. That's about Linmart. What have you come to do as Linmart? We are trying to create a link, like I just said. We had a problem of uh, someone accessing a service or a product. So what we are trying to do is to create a link between all the stakeholders in the market. We are trying to create a link between a supplier and a vendor. We are trying to create a link between a vendor and a consumer. So Linmart is both a B2B and a B2C. So we are registering all businesses right from factories to the last uh, person, that is the consumer. You can register on Linmart uh, by going through our website, which is uh, www.linmart.co, or you can go through our app, both uh, Play Store, that is Linmart, and Apple Store is still Linmart. After you signed in, whenever you're looking for something and for your convenience, visit Linmart. Now, when you visit Linmart, you just sign in as uh, using your username and password. Then you can go to uh, our back office, look for what you want. Let me say you're looking for shoes. Then you'll type shoes now. Click on the shoes and then you will see different vendors that are selling shoes because that is now the keyword. That's the product you are looking out for. There are several vendors already on our platform and there are many that are coming up. Not only Ugandans, but even from uh, beyond uh, the Ugandan market. So you are able to identify, one, the product that you want, two, the various vendors that are selling these products. Now. When you click on a particular vendor, you will see all the details of the vendor, uh, details of the product that you want to buy, 
its quality, where it is made, and everything, plus the price. So if that is the product that you, you wish to take on, you then select the product and then it goes to cut. Now, it may happen that you're actually choosing different products from different vendors. Your duty is to keep on picking all those products that you want. And when you select them, they go to your cart. That is your shopping basket. Now, at the time of paying, you can use various methods. You can use mobile money. There I mean it could be MTN or Airtel money. You can use a Visa card. You can use a credit card. Now, when you pay, the system will allocate the payment. Let me say your, your total cost of what you've shopped is, say, a million shilling. But you have picked from different suppliers. When you pay that million shilling, the system will allocate the money to different vendors, right? Now, when it comes to terms of uh, delivery, given that you are actually dealing directly with the vendors, you can speak to the vendors about delivery. You are not speaking to Linman. You're speaking directly to the vendor, the person you are buying from. So you can agree on delivery. You can use WhatsApp in your communication. You can even call because the numbers are there. So delivery could be possibly you want to pick from the store or you want the product to be delivered. Now, when it comes to delivery, the vendor agrees with you on the delivery method. Possibly you could be in Gulu, and then possibly your product could be put on a bus, then it is delivered, or it's given to a courier. We are using a company already. We have a company that is uh, partnering with us to ease transportation. But again, like I said, it is between you and the vendor. A vendor could be having his own means of transport. And then the product will reach you. What happens if, for example, what you picked is not what was delivered? Remember, you are speaking directly to the vendor. And the terms and conditions are there. One of the policies that actually manage trust and the quality of our service is the refund policy. We have a refund policy. And before you pay for a product, you are able to read about the refund policy. So there's a delivery policy, there's a refund policy. If you are still within the refund policy and you have an issue with the product that has, you have, has been delivered to you, then you either your product will be exchanged depending on your request or you will be refunded. Okay? Now, like I said, you are dealing directly with a vendor. How about if you have an issue with a vendor? Then Linmat, as management, will come in because we are there to protect both you, our customer, and the vendor because the vendor is also our customer. So you have a smooth transaction on Linmat. Linmat is making eight months, so very soon we shall be making a year. In these eight months, we have about, uh, about 400, 450 vendors, businesses already registered. Uh, given that you, the, the, the customers deal, right now deal directly with the vendors, we, they are those that actually transact, that is do payment online, that is on the platform, and they are those that when they see the product, go directly to the stores. The numbers that visit our market keep on growing on a daily. Uh, the state of um, e-commerce in Uganda, it is growing, I will say, uh, especially uh, it has picked up during the COVID time. There is a lot of creativity, people are, are appreciating. Actually, when you look at uh, the market, what is happening, there are several products that are coming up. Different companies are coming up with uh, different products, different solutions. And given the nature of our population, we, the people that are in the market and have disposable income are in the age that is very inquisitive and they want to try everything. That's one. Two, they want conveniency. They want to have everything from where they are. So e-commerce is picking and uh, people, the market is actually appreciative of the technology and we believe it's going to grow and it's continuing to grow. Looking at the opportunities, one is basically about uh, the age, like I just said, 
and the age that is basically utilizing e-commerce is the age that is working and has disposable income. Now, the challenge that we have, especially on the side of the companies that uh, are starting e-commerce, like any startup companies, it is finance. Finance is the biggest problem right now because, for example, when you look at Linmart, we are saying we are not charging anything. You upload your products free of charge. You sign up free of charge. And we don't charge even commission on sales. Why? Because we are trying to, uh, to, to create usability. We want to create uh, something that people have not been used to. And creating that needs a lot of awareness, needs marketing. And I think the biggest cost in everyone's business is marketing. So if it is marketing and we need money, if you don't have capital that you've already saved, like most startups, then you need help from financial institutions. Now, financial institutions are not ready to fund startups. They need collateral. You put in a collateral of, say, 200 million, and they're not ready to give you even half of the 200 million. So the problem that is facing, uh, I know, most of the e-commerce companies, especially those that are starting, is finance. Two is the acceptability of technology, I'll say. Some people don't believe that when you see something online and you order for it, it will actually come. They don't have trust in technology. Now, that again is on the side of companies that are starting up e-commerce to create awareness, to do the sensitization, which still costs money, but it is our work to do the sensitization through conferences and the rest. It's a good idea that uh, initiatives like 40 Days, 40 FinTech have come up to basically, one, create awareness. Create awareness for e-commerce, create awareness for online products. Uh, this, I believe this is not ending in Uganda. It is opening uh, the network opportunities as well with uh, businesses that are across border. However, we believe that initiatives like uh, FinTech should not end at creating awareness, should not end at exposing us, but should also maybe initiate the funding uh, facility. That is because, for example, 40 Days 40 FinTech is a bloody initiative, meaning that it can speak to say different institutions. It can speak to different audiences, possibly to solicit funds to help startups like ours. It is something I believe that they can do, looking at the capacity that they have, they can be listened to. There is data, there is data about these uh, companies like ours that show that actually what we are doing is adding value to the community, it's adding value to the market, and it needs that support. 40 Days 40 Fintechs is presented in prior partnership with Crosslake Technologies, Modus Box, Modulo Foundation, and Level One Projects.